Fortnite first person mode is being worked on by Epic Games and it's most likely gonna come to the game in season four or season five. It was a very highly requested feature and it's finally being worked on. But here's the thing, first person mode could be a huge breath of fresh air and a big win for the game, but it can cause some serious problems in the Fortnite community if Epic approached this the wrong way. Today, I'm breaking down everything we know about first person mode. And if you care about Fortnite's future, this is a conversation that needs to be addressed now. So let's talk about this leak. In the game files, leakers have found that Fortnite is working on a first person mode and they're in the early stages. The biggest new breakthrough we've had in Fortnite was the introduction of zero build and it completely changed the way the game has been played and brought back plenty of old players who left after falling behind in build mode. Even I don't really play build modes that much these days, but I still play from time to time to keep my building skills intact. But here's a fun fact about zero build. It was actually leaked a long time ago months before it came out but everybody thought epic was just doing an ltm bringing back the ground game mode that they kind of had in the past and maybe throwing in a few things we had no idea that it was going to be a core gameplay change that was going to affect the future of fortnite forever and we were all surprised when season two rolled around and they rolled it out and pretty much took building out of the game but it was a giant success for fortnite and they probably want to try to replicate this as many times as they can so why should we think right now that this first person leak is just going to be some little ltm this could be a core gameplay feature that will be implemented and change the game forever now what would this mode look like we've seen some fov glitches here and there but realistically a first person mode you wouldn't be able to peek behind corners you wouldn't have that third person camera view so the game would play completely differently also even building would be a lot more challenging ranking 90s you would have to move your cursor all the way across or your controller so your builds would be a lot slower and even executing edits would be a lot more challenging because you have to be right in front of the wall and making those precise edits would be a huge challenge and first person mode would completely change the gun meta with shotguns you couldn't just pre-fire from behind a wall or pre-aim and then strafe into the shot you would have to actually peek find your target and then take the shot which requires a lot more reaction time assault rifles and smgs you would have to use attachments like red dots or scopes for them to feel good or else you're shooting through an iron sight you're kind of covering most of your screen and you're gonna have a hard time hitting your opponent so they would either have to add weapon attachments or you would only really want to use things like mks and burst rifles with attachments on them and we know attachments have been leaked in the game files for almost a year now maybe epic games is waiting for first person mode before bringing weapon attachments into fortnite and maybe epic games will add way more exclusive weapon wraps and cool looking weapon wraps that players are going to want to grind for or buy from the item shop to really show off their weapon wrap skins in that first person experience you know if you're in first person mode you're not really going to see your skin you can see your teammates and opponent skins but does that devalue skins and collaborations you can't look at chun li if you're rocking her okay man that's not a good choice of words if you're wearing chun li you won't be able to see her but other people will uh your back blings your skins your emotes they're visible to other players but not really to you and fortnite is huge on skins and cosmetics so that could be an issue that epic's thinking about one thing's for sure though it would make weapon skin wraps a lot more important and i think right now a lot of people don't really look at their weapon skin wraps that much but if you were in first person mode you would 100 care what kind of weapon skin wrap you have and maybe they would have a feature that you can actually kind of look at your weapon wrap and kind of admire your weapon wrap choice this is huge in other games like valorant and call of duty and it's not just going to change the gun meta imagine driving cars in first person mode gliding in first person pickaxing building and editing will be completely different the entire game and structure and flow would be impacted in first person some things for better and some things for worse and they would need to introduce new gameplay mechanics to support first person mode zero build came with mantling sprinting overshield sliding these are all gameplay changes that made zero build a better experience with first person mode there would need to be new gameplay changes to support it and make it a very fun experience maybe the way building in first person mode works is differently or maybe the way the guns feel or shoot is completely different now first person mode is a lot more intense everything is much more immersive it's impactful jump scares are gonna happen you're gonna really get a closer look at everybody that you're fighting 
you're gonna really feel like you're in the fight and that brings us actually one step closer to a virtual reality fortnite experience which if you guys remember i made a vr video recently but fortnite doesn't actually have vr support but if first person mode comes to the game fortnite enters the world of virtual reality and that opens up to a whole new player base of people who might be interested in playing fortnite in vr and just imagine the creative maps and horror maps or even parkour courses and speed runs in that first person experience it's gonna feel completely different like a brand new game the so first person mode could bring a lot of fps veterans and fans over to try fortnite especially people who play call of duty or apex legends or valorant just like traditional fps's having that option in fortnite could expand the player base tremendously now all this sounds amazing but there is a huge issue that we need to talk about. As you guys know, with the introduction of zero build mode, the community has been a little bit split. We already had a divide in the community between casual players and people who are kind of sweaty and competitive. That has existed since the very beginning. But now we have a split of casual players who enjoy builds on and casual players who play zero builds and vice versa for the pros. So the core player base has been effectively split. We now have solos, duos, trios, squads with builds on, solos, duos, trios, squads, with builds off that's eight different modes for public matches and if they introduce zero build arena which were in the game files that will be an additional three modes for arena that's a lot of modes and fortnite has the player base to support it but you also don't want to risk splitting them up too much especially in smaller regions or during off hours now imagine what happens if they add a first person mode that works the same way as zero build where you can queue into a first person fortnite game mode now we potentially have solos duos trio squads with first person are we going to have builds on or off in these modes? Or are we going to have the option to play either or? We're talking about potentially 16 different game modes, maybe more with first person introduction. Some people might think, okay, well, this could just be an LTM. Maybe this is just going to be something introduced into creative and people will be able to create custom creative experiences with first person. But after what happened with zero build, you got to consider all the possibilities. Fortnite is creating a completely new framework and experience to make first person mode a reality. And I I feel like they wouldn't do all that and just keep it locked away in creative. I feel like they would try to bring it to the main modes. Maybe it's a toggle feature. Maybe there's a couple game modes that are first person exclusive, especially when they're trying to balance guns and items in both modes. We already have a small issue of them trying to balance arena and public item matches, but now you have potentially an issue where some guns work really well in first person while being too powerful or not powerful enough in the other modes. Will Epic try to awkwardly balance the game between arena players first person players zero build players build players and third person like that's a lot of different modes and they're all playing the same game of fortnite how do you approach that from a balanced perspective it could get really tricky and really messy what do you guys think is the best way to approach it and not split up the community because I'm just as excited as you guys are about first person mode. Let me know in the comments how you think Epic should bring it to the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.